At the intersection where lawyers and reporters often meet, a great story can probably be found. Whether it's rooted in scandal, money, novelty or celebrity, the media has a massive appetite for content and the courthouse is one of its richest veins. But when faced with the prospect of stepping into a sea of camera lenses and microphones, many lawyers would rather become invisible. Join us as we explore the tensions between the media and the legal profession. We'll talk to communications experts about the problem. I've often joked that lawyers and journalists share a whole bunch of overlapping conceits. They're always the smartest people in the room. They're always the people who want to find out more about things. Um, there are an awful lot of kind of overlapping skills there. We'll get tips from professional spin doctors. I'm not a doctor, I'm merely in residency. And it's not spin, it's just enhancement of an alternate viewpoint. And we'll hear from legal professionals about their media experiences, and even some of their horror stories. On the cover of the Edmonton Journal is, U of A prof supports human cloning. I'm like, oh my god, who's this idiot? Oh, oh it's me! Global News has partnered with us to make this production a reality. In addition to providing us with video and editing services, they've also opened their doors to us so we can talk to broadcast journalists across the country from local beat reporters, to their Parliamentary Affairs Bureau, and their award-winning documentary team, 16 by 9. And yes, manila envelope drops do happen. We'll also talk to our regulatory bodies, and even the Canadian Judicial Council about the evolution of legal media relations. Join me. Cynthia Carrolls of Miller Thompson LLP in Edmonton, as together we'll explore how to do media better.